Welcome back, everyone, to episode number five in our season two Let's Play series of Industry Manager Future Technologies. Now, in our previous video, we got a couple of more products going. So that is everything is going excellent. Let's take a quick look through our warehouse and make sure we're not allowing anything to get terribly out of hand. I mainly want to make sure our maxes are set because even if I forget to look at some things, this should help us out. Okay, now we've got a little bit of a buffer here with inorganic chemicals. We're adding about nine per day, and you can see we're already up over 5,000. That's good. And the reason I say that's good is because if we come in and look at the next products that we have available, we can go with meningitis, which would use those inorganic chemicals. We can go with Ebola, which gets into some chemical mixtures and embedded systems. So we got that kind of thing going. Then we come into medicine. We could go into contraception, inorganic chemicals. So you get the idea. And then we're back to chemical mixtures. So we're going to very soon need to get into pumping oil and making various chemicals, two of which we've already seen. So as much as I hate to do that because it's a whole bunch of buildings to get into, a whole bunch of cost and all that kind of thing for very little, if any, additional profit, we're going to have to go ahead and do that because you just see that, you know, now we're pretty much full in our warehouse because of the settings we have, but we're not able to get the full 16 each day from uh, the global market, and we would actually need to increase that going forward. So for now, uh, what we're going to do is get started with some additional products. But first and foremost, we need to get some research in the queue. Now, we're doing great on research. You know, we've got most everything that I would really want to get. I mean, obviously, we can continue to reduce costs and all that kind of thing. But one thing I do want to make sure is that food is ready to go because there's going to be a lot of synergy between the products that we're making right now uh, for biotech and food. Now, that's kind of scary in real life to think about, but in the game particularly, a lot of stuff that we're doing will have carryover into food. Uh, let's see, new, new year, time for new beginnings. Uh, food facility looks like it's to be a lucrative addition. Well, we were just talking about that, so that's good to hear. All right, let's go ahead and get some more stuff queued up. And I think I want to get into resource buildings. Let's go ahead and start working our way through like we did in our last playthrough and make sure that we get things opened up there. Let's see, we got one more. And okay, I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, but we're basically going to work our way through here because the product buildings we have, we've worked our way mostly through the biotech except for coming back and lowering some of the cost. And we've also opened up food. As you can see, most everything has been opened up except for some, some workforce things. And so we're, we're going on research in our two main product areas. So I want to start to open up some resource buildings. All right. And with that in mind, we need to make a decision on our next product. And I'm thinking we go after the contraception pills because, again, farm, animal ranch, and inorganic chemicals, which we already have. All right, we have a surplus of these right now. We'll see how many additional ones we're going to need for this particular product. So with that in mind, let's get started. So for this, we're going to need another building. Uh, and one thing I've noticed, if, if you keep an eye, as I do every once in a while, on our mini-map up in the top right-hand corner of the, the screen, you can see we're very close here to the red team. And with that in mind... I want to make sure that they don't get this sector. Okay, I, don't, I want to make sure they don't expand here because it's got a lot of room here to grow. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that 8.2 million. So let's buy that. We've got, you know, now down to 118 million. So we're good there. Not a huge problem uh, as far as money. But at the same time, we want to make sure that we can keep ahead of them. Uh, I'm tempted to go ahead and buy this one as well. Uh, and we may do so before too terribly long. Uh, but for now, we need another biotech company. And we're going to place it right over here. Okay. And let that get started building. And so what do we need for this? Well, we need 
an item from the farm, an item from the ranch, and then some more chemicals. Uh, the chemicals, we already have an outstanding order for on the global market. We'll see if, you know, if that still continues to be a good idea or, you know, as you can tell, I'm delaying as long as possible uh, starting to get into the oil industry and chemical industry. But at some point, very, very soon, I know it's going to be unavoidable. Okay, so we'll come in here. We'll upgrade our workforce. And I'm guessing we're going to need that pill upgrade as well. But let's hold off for just a minute before we get there. All right, so where are these things? Cancer, I don't see it. Where's it at? Oh, it's over here on the side. Contraception pills. Oh, look, you need the pills upgrade for that. No shocker there. Okay, so now let's come back over and make these. All right, so what do we need? For these, we need 121 of the cultures. We need about 49 of the genetically modified microorganisms. And wow, 73 of the inorganic chemicals. Okay, so that's going to be a bunch. Uh, we were only trying to get 16 a day from the market. So I think this is going to rapidly deplete our uh, storage. All right, so we'll have to keep that in mind. And once again, that's probably moving up our... Wow, we can make 5,000 of these per day. I hope they're profitable because this would be great if they were. All right, we need to set up a transportation route, and our finished good goes first. All right, and let's see. What else do we have? Are we already making these cultures? And no, we're not messing with the side quest stuff. That's not what I'm interested in. Let's see, inorganic chemicals, we know where those are. We know we're definitely making or getting those already. All right, so biomedical cultures. Are we making those? Nope, but we are making the genetically modified microorganisms, so we'll go ahead and add that. So we got, looks like biomolecular cultures is the one thing we're not currently making. Let's head over to our farm. Uh, let's see. In our farm, we have room for 12 remaining workers. Let's quickly look and make sure. Yeah, we're not making those cultures, and let's see. Biomolecular cultures. There they are. Pretty high production cost, I think. And let's see. What are the quantity that we need here? We need 121. All right, it's going to take six workers. Wow, so we're, we're quickly filling up this farm. Six workers. Now we're down to having only six remaining. Okay, but that's good. That's what the farm is here for is to to work for us, and so that's what it's doing. All right, we set up our route there. Let's make sure, of course, you don't need any uh, raw materials to produce this. We've got 121 on the way. Let's come in really quickly and check in at our warehouse and see, let's see, where are they? Biomolecular, I didn't send them to the wrong one, did I? No. All right, so now we need to come back in. Let's make sure that I did this right. To warehouse, and are they being made? Yes, they are. Okay, so that means they should be in here, yet they are not. Okay, let's go ahead and set up some other things while we wait on that. Okay. Let's set up our remaining transportation route for that. And, okay, there we go. So they were in there. I must have missed them. Or maybe they just weren't quite in there yet. Okay, so we're in the green here. We've got plenty of everything for now. Because uh, this inorganic chemicals isn't going to last very long, taking out 72 or 73 at a time. But we'll see how many of these we actually need to make. So production is underway. Let's come back into our warehouse and let's see, contraception pills are definitely here. Okay, so let's bring this down to 2%. And why are you not letting me do that? Workers strike back. Okay, so now Biotech Factory is striking. Okay, so again, the game is throwing lots of stuff at us. Okay, so we got a bunch of the contraception pills lined up. 5,000, I believe, per day is what we're making. Let's see if the market will hold that many. Okay, so we get these up and going. 22,000, wow. 
Okay, so yeah, I think they will. <laughs> so we can actually make quite a bit of these and really flood the market with these and try to corner the market actually with these. Let's go ahead and get all our stores opened. Okay, so it looks like we're at 23,000. Uh, if we look here, we're not quite at triple our cost, so it's not a huge money maker for us, but the fact that we're able to sell so many means that we can clear quite a bit. Now, and you can see that here, we're able to make 40,000. And of course, where that number comes from is your selling price uh, times the number sold, and then you deduct your cost from that. So we're in good shape there because we can sell so many. So for now, let's go ahead and open up a couple of more of these uh, facilities to do this. Now, remember, we're going to run out of inorganic chemicals very quickly in the game. So I'm going to slow down things just for a few minutes here. Let's take a look at our research, which, as I suspected, is already done. Okay, let's come into our resource buildings. So we've researched the storage increase, which we don't need right now. But now in the mine, we've got that going. Okay, so, so far so good there. And let's move on here. Let's go in and work on the workforce there. And then we got room for three more. So the farm is all complete. Same thing with the animal ranch. And refinery is all done. And same thing here with the chemical factory. So we're moving just right along. We'll open up the forge and then go ahead and queue that as well. Okay. So things are moving right along in our research. So let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and fast forward things once again and come in for another biotech factory. Okay, if I put this sideways, can I fit two of these in here will be the question. And no, I will not be able to. So I'm going to have some wasted room back there in the back. All right, and fit that in here. Okay, so things are going very nicely. Our profit is increasing, and we're about to continue to make more of the pills. And we're gonna make these pills until we completely run out. Here, let's go ahead and quantity, let's go ahead and up this to, let's see how many we can get, quite frankly. Let's go ahead and make this 150 and just see how many per day we can actually get. Okay, we're going to we're going to run that for as long as we possibly can. All right, workforce. Let's see. Uh something just occurred to me actually. All right, as we get oh great, animal ranch is shut down. That's not what we want to see. All right, so the resources we need here. Yeah, there we go. So we've got our resources that we need. Let's take a quick glance because now I'm starting to doubt myself. We've got so many things going on. Let's see. No, don't want. I'm not messing with that. All right, so let's make sure. So bi biomolecular cultures, we did that for sure. Genetically modified. Uh, that is over here. Genetically modified. We did not change this. All right, so... Again, this is one of those things where I simply forget. I get so many things going through my head that I forget to increase our production on everything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we need 117 of these. All right, we're going to do 100. I'll go ahead and do 118 because it may have been uh, a, an extra fraction there that I don't remember. Okay, so we're going to get that going. And so from here... You can see we're a little bit behind on the production there because I did forget to do that. And we're going to need to increase it again here momentarily. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our workforce upgrades. And we're going to need the pill upgrade as well. Let's go ahead and set up our product, which is way over here in the corner. Create that. And let's see, shut down services going on strike. Okay, so nobody can ship products. What exactly does that extend to? 
New products cannot be shipped or sold. Really? So, wow, you can see it already down here at the bottom. Okay, so no transportation. Wow, that is a very interesting one. I don't remember seeing that before. Very interesting, in fact. All right, so let's go ahead and set up what we can. Uh, and then, okay, so the strike looks like it's over. So we're back to business. So that didn't take very long. Of course, being on ultra fast mode here doesn't help anything or it doesn't hurt anything, rather. All right, let's get our cultures, biomolecular cultures, and let's get the genetically modified microorganisms right here. And fitness goods and jewelry declining. Woo, okay, so that's going down. Uh, of course, you can probably see the writing on the wall, as I do, that our time is coming. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but our time is coming where we're going to get hit with a sudden drop in demand. So we're going to just try to continue to build as much uh, cash as we can and hope that we can hold out as long as possible. Okay, so let's go ahead and build uh, the maximum here. Oh, and we've got another update. So let's see what the update has in store for us. Let's see. So they continue to grow and outpace us there. Company value, they're really pulling ahead of us there. Uh, we're all fairly similar in revenue. Expenses. Okay, so everything looks good here. It uh, looks like they're winning, which is exactly what I was hoping to see. Their research is through the roof here. They're going to have, in fact, if they don't have everything already researched, I'd be surprised. All right, so more buildings, workers. I bought a sector this time. They bought, looks like at least one, maybe a couple, depending on the size. And so, yeah, everything's going along great. I am pleased with the AI so far because, like I said, this is on the hardest difficulty, and they are winning, so that is perfect. Let's take a look at what we have. Okay, so we've, we're at a point where we have either already run out or are running out of the inorganic chemicals. Let's speed things back up, and we'll get around to that in just a moment. Let's come into our farm, biomolecular cultures. Here we are. So we need, of course, to double this. So 242. Hope we got enough workers for this. Do we? Ooh, okay, so this will pretty much max out this particular farm. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Okay, we got plenty of workers left here. Okay, genetically modified. All right, so we're up to 118, and I need to add some additional on top of that, but I can't remember how many. 118 plus, so another 49. So 167, we'll probably just do 168. Okay, and how many more workers? Okay, so we're about, we're not quite to halfway on our workers there. Okay. With that in mind, let's come back over to, oop, not a warehouse. Why are we clicking on warehouses? We want to click on a biotech factory and see how production is going. 5,000 per day, and we are definitely not getting what we want. You can see here, the problem, of course, is the inorganic chemicals. We come back over here and see that we are completely out. Okay, so with that in mind, we have reached the end of our free ride on purchasing from the global market. So at this point, we're going to slow things way down. Let's take a look at our research, and we're done already. So we're ready for workforce here. And we're going to open up Glass Company and Nano as well. Okay, so with that in mind, now it's ready to start the long and arduous process of making the inorganic chemicals. And just to remind you of what that process looks like, we're going to need a chemical factory, a mine, a refinery, and an oil well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our chemical factory. So we've got this new area over here, and 773 on oil, 549, so we'll use this area over here. Okay, so we'll come over here, and first things first, we're going to need, not research, but we need a building. Okay, so we need chemical factory. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put it 
I guess right over here. Okay, there's our chemical factory. That's where we start spending lots and lots of money. Then we're going to need a refinery. Right there. We're going to need a mine, which we're going to mine lithium, which is 300 of that. I'm not sure how much we're going to need. I wouldn't imagine very much. So we've got a mine. And I'm going to fit our mine right back here. And then finally, we're going to need an oil well, which is thankfully very small. So I'm going to attempt to fit it right in there. Okay, so we're spending tons and tons of money here. Okay, so the chemical factory. Now, what do we need it to make? Well, for right now, we need it to make inorganic chemicals. So let's take a look and see what we need to make that. We'll go ahead and upgrade the workforce, although I kind of doubt we're going to need that right now. But just to have it out of the way, we'll do that. All right, so there's chemicals, chemical mixture, which we'll need to get to shortly. But then we've got inorganic chemicals. Now, what do we need to make that? So we're going to need 16 of the lithium from our mine. And we're going to need 298 petrochemicals from our refinery. So how many of these do we need? Well, this is where I'm going to stray a little bit because I do not want to continue to have to micromanage everything. So I am actually going to make more than we need. I'm going to start out by making a couple of hundred uh, because I think that's actually pretty close to the amount we need per day, but a little bit above. And what I plan to do going forward is sort of manage this using the warehouse. Okay, transportation route will go to the warehouse. And there we go. All right, so now we need to supply all of the items needed for that, which means that we need to get our mine right here. Let's go ahead and upgrade the workforce. Again, I'm not sure we're going to need that upgrade just yet, but we'll go ahead and take care of it. All right, so what do we want to mine? We want to mine lithium. And we'll go ahead and do that, keep the quality at the bottom. And we only need 16 of these right now. How many could I mine? 300. So we could mine a, a whole bunch, uh, as much as actually is, is available in our particular sector. So I'm going to go ahead and mine, let's say, about 30. Again, a little bit more than we need right now. Uh, but I'm going to try to constrain and work this through uh, our warehouses. Okay, and let's go ahead and set up. Uh, that warehouse, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and continue using that same warehouse. I had thoughts about setting up a different warehouse here, but for now, simplicity is going to win the day, and I am going to continue to use the same warehouse. Okay, so we've got this coming in. Let's see. All right, a private investor is looking to buy shares. They're willing to cover. Okay, now nah, I'm not worried about that. All right, let's lower this down to our 2%. And let's see, we've already got inorganic chemicals at 2%. Okay, so we're good there. That's how I'm going to try to contain this. It's not the most cost-effective way of doing it, uh, but it will save me a lot of time and basically a lot of headache. Okay, so we've got our mine working. It's producing 30 per day there. We've got our oil well ready. Uh, we don't know quite yet how many of those we need. So we'll come over to our refinery because we do know how many we need here and we know that right now what we're going to be making is petrochemicals wow and we need a thousand and seventy seven that is a lot of barrels of oil quite frankly i was not expecting quite that high of a number all right but of course that's maximum production which if we take a look at what maximum production is it's 333 how many do i need well almost that many i need 300 so let's go ahead and set that up. So this is where things start to get a little squirrely for me. Because the the numbers that you need for various things, various raw materials and things start to get a little squirrely here and don't seem to make a whole lot of sense to me. Okay, we're going to send this to our warehouse. Go ahead and send the petrochemicals over there. Okay. So that will take care of that for now. Let's see. Well, there's not going to be any over there, so we can't change our maximums just yet. All right. So now this is where 
I'll show you what I mean by numbers start to look a little awkward. All right, production line, obviously here we're going to be making oil, but only 773. If you remember, we need 1,077. So it's hard to believe that one oil well will not make as much as we need. So we're actually going to have to build another oil well. All right, well, and that's fine. We'll take care of that. So have these go to the warehouse. And with that in mind, we'll go ahead and build another oil well over here this time. And actually, I may have found something that will fit in this spot. There we go, perfectly. Okay, let's go ahead and let's slow things down a little bit here. Okay, and I'm just gonna have this thing, we're gonna have it pump out as much oil as it can. Again, just so I don't have to continually micromanage this thing. Let's set up our transportation route. Go into the warehouse. And once again, I am going to come back into our warehouse. And where is our oil? There it is. So we're going to max this out at about, we're going to give it about 3%. Okay, you can see it's already at 1% because it's pumping it fast and furiously. Okay, so now we can work our way back up the production chain. So we're back in our refinery, which needs oil. But we haven't supplied it to any oil, so now we're going to come in and do just that. And now you can see it's going to be using that oil very quickly, but we should be pumping more than what we actually need, hopefully. All right, so you can see quantities are underway there. We're going to make 300 per day, and I think we actually needed just under that, about 298 or so, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Okay, so the, for the quantity we're using here, we're going to be perfectly fine. So... But if we come back into our information, you can see we need our lithium and the petrochemicals, and we should have both of those ready to go. Okay, there's our lithium. And now we can take care of the petrochemicals. Okay, and let's see, just because I don't remember, we're mining, okay, we're mining 30 of these per day. Let's come back into our warehouse, max 2%, max 3%. Max 10%, okay, so we're going to max that out at about 2%, and we've already taken care of our inorganic chemicals. Excellent. So I believe that should solve our problems here and also here. All right, so all of that is going, and let's come back over here and see we are selling 9,000 there and I would expect very few in the other places. All right, and that's correct. So you can see a huge, huge demand that is out there that we can continue to improve upon uh, and continue to increase our production. Now, what we've determined in this video is that the limiting factor here is gonna be located on the bottom end of our supply chain, okay? We've, we've got plenty of room left here at our mine, okay? And not sure why that brought up our mine. Yeah, there we go. Brought up our oil instead of our mine. So we've got plenty of room here to increase production. The issue we run into is oil, which we're now maxing out our production of. And if we come into our warehouse, we can see here that we're already, we're to the good, about 350 barrels per day. But how long is that going to last? Well, as if we continue to try to increase our production of the contraception pills, then we're going to quickly run through that. Uh, and we're going to need to buy more sectors. And here we got 728. Let's go ahead and buy that one because we already know we're going to need that. Okay, and then we'll max out our production there. In fact, let's go ahead and get that started. So we're going to put an oil well right up here at the very, very front. And then we'll max out the production there. We're going good on our profit, 287,000. That's great. I've got no problems whatsoever with that. It just gets a little tedious on the back end when you have to start micromanaging oil production and all of that. But hey, 
that's part of the game. Let's go ahead and and get our oil production going. Again, when we're produ when we're producing way too much, we're going to use the warehouse to keep that under control. So there we go, another 728 barrels. Hire those workers, and then we're going to send this to our warehouse. Okay, so our warehouse is now going to be flooded with oil coming in fast and furiously. And in fact, if we speed this up, you're going to see, there you go. Now we're getting a lot more oil, and it's going to quickly fill up this 3% maximum. But that's perfectly fine. That's going to mean production will stop, and then we'll just have to be left saddled with the cost of the workers, which, again, isn't wonderful, but it helps me to avoid the micromanaging. All right, with that in mind, the next step, I believe, is unless we want to go a different route, we're going to continue to increase our production of the contraceptives here because we have much more demand that we can meet. But we'll take care of that in a future video. For now, thank you very much for your support. It is uh, greatly appreciated and does not go unnoticed. And stay tuned for more Industry Manager Future Technologies.